Hey everybody, uh, this is Matt Damon. Um, so a few years ago, a bunch of us did this movie called Contagion, which we've noticed is creeping its way back up on the charts uh, on iTunes uh, for obvious reasons, given what we're all living through right now. Um, and so the Mailman School of Public Health at Columbia University reached out to the cast and asked us if we would uh, have a virtual reunion to do some PSAs for everybody that, that might be helpful. And so we readily agreed, and so uh, here they are. Um, so everything you're gonna hear from us has been vetted by public health experts and, uh, and scientists. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about social distancing, something we've been hearing a lot about on TV, I think, the last couple of weeks. Um, in the movie, I played a guy who was immune to the uh, hypothetical virus that was spreading around the world. And so a few things to start. Uh, one, um, that was a movie. This is real life. I have no reason to believe that I'm immune to COVID-19 uh, and neither do you. Uh, no matter how young you are, this is a new virus. It's going to take some time for our bodies and our doctors to understand it and to understand the best way to protect us. So new viruses emerge all the time. Uh, this isn't the first and it won't be the last. So the good news is we have seen things like this before and we emerge stronger as a result. And in time, we're gonna win against this one as well. How much time? That is an excellent question. Nobody knows for sure, but we do know how to make that day get here quicker. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about, social distancing. It means stay six feet away from another person. It means not gathering in groups, and it means staying home or sheltering in place if that's what government officials are telling you to do. People can have COVID-19 and have very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. Uh, so even if you think that they're healthy or you think that you're healthy, don't take that chance. It is not worth it. Every time that you pass this virus to someone else, you are actually giving it to three or four other people as well, and then those people are gonna do the same. So before long, that one person turns into hundreds, which turns into thousands, and that's how we got into this situation in the first place. Now, if you are young and healthy, you might think that this is no big deal because you've heard that this virus is nothing more than a bad cold for you. And that is not true, spring breakers, okay? Almost 40% of the people hospitalized in this pandemic are under 55. And if you uh, know anybody over the age of 55 or anyone who has any kind of pre-existing conditions, this is a lot more serious for them. So you can literally save their life just by staying away from each other. You can actually sit on the couch or in a chair like I'm doing and watch TV and save a life at the same time. You can work from home, you can use social media to communicate, you can save a few more. Uh, now is the time to spend all the time you want staring at your phone or your tablet. And if anybody gives you a hard time about it, tell them not to bother you because you are saving lives. Just make sure that you tell them that from six feet away. We can all do this together just by staying apart. Please do your part. Other generations have been asked to do extraordinary things. We're being asked to just stay at home. We got this. Please let's respect and protect our elders. Thanks, everybody.